welcome to another edition of Azure Every Day. My name is Steve Hughes. Today I'd like to talk with you about uh, three things you should know about Azure. And today's topic is going to be about managed instances. As you may have heard, managed instances were made generally available in the fall of 2018. Here are three things to understand about managed instances. First of all, managed instances are very secure. Unlike their sibling Azure SQL databases, they do not have a public endpoint. Beyond that, they live in a special subnet. This fulfills a key request for multiple customers who have evaluated security requirements. However, you should know, if you're a Power BI shop or use other third-party tools that do not join your virtual network, you're gonna to need to plan how you will allow access. In Power BI, for instance, you will need to use the Enterprise Gateway on a separate VM within the VNet, which has network access to the managed instance in order to access the content in the managed instance in a Power BI. Uh, dashboard or report. Thing number two to understand is you can backup and restore a traditional SQL Server backup file to a managed instance. You need to add the backup file to Azure Blob Storage location. Once loaded in storage, you can either use a restore script or use SQL Server Management Studio to restore the database onto your managed instance. This works with multiple versions and additions to the SQL Server. It's a really convenient way to actually migrate your data if that's what you choose to do or to bring data online and test managed instances. Which brings us to our third thing to know. Because managed instances are a platform as a service or PaaS, there is no version or addition of managed instances. While they do have different service levels, general purpose and business critical, there are no significant functional differences between them with the exception of in-memory OLTP support. There are a number of other differences that you may want to take advantage of, those differences you know, are related to things such as using always on versus the standard three copies of, of uh, a storage in the background. So there are some options there for you. Just be aware that managed instances are uh, a new thing in SQL Server and they're continuing to improve them and make more things available. Thank you for joining for this three things to know session here on Azure Every Day. Here's a summary of the three things to know about managed instances that we talked about today. Managed instances are very secure. That's the first thing to be aware of. If security is a primary concern, remember that managed instances are very secure. Uh, number two, managed instances support traditional backup and restore operations on SQL Server. So that makes your operationally easier to work with the platform. Number three, managed instances are version and addition agnostic. So once you move to managed instances, you no longer need to worry about um, updating or maintaining your solution. There are plenty more to know about managed instances. If you're looking at implementing managed instances or need any other support on Azure, click on the link below for more information. Thank you and have a great day.